Hello YouTubes, this is an update to the last video where I converted this passenger coach to LED flicker free lighting. I made a boo boo. If you watched the video I made about a DIY Keep Alive, you will see that I was struggling to get the performance out of the system that I was expecting. Thanks to you smarty pants out there, I now know what I did wrong. This is the victim. If you want to see how I did the entire circuit, click up there. But make sure you come back and watch the rest of this video when you get to the capacitors bit, because that's where I went wrong. Okay, let's get into this and I'll show you what I've done wrong and how we're going to fix it and hopefully improve the performance by 100% or double it or something. Let's get into it. So I have all my lighting and circuitry installed on the on the roof itself, connected with a little micro plug. So we can move that out the way, don't need to worry about that. And here you can see what I made. So, starting from this side, we've got a little uh, potentiometer or trim pot, adjustable resistor basically down there. Okay, that goes along to a bridge rectifier to convert AC to DC and also just to make sure the voltage is always going in positive and negative into the LED system. Three LEDs with a little resistor, little extension wire, another three LEDs with a little resistor, little extension wire and two capacitors. And that's the problem. I thought adding two capacitors will double the capacitance, which it would if I'd hooked them up correctly. I've actually soldered these together in series and apparently you're supposed to solder them in parallel and that's hopefully all we have to do to improve it. So let me show you what it looks like before we mess with the capacitors, okay? I will dim the lights for this. So I switched on my 15 volt DC power pack and I'm just going to touch the positive and negative together and we'll see it light up. When I let go, it dims down very quickly, but the LEDs are still lit. But I'm losing that brightness immediately. So even on a quick disconnect, if you like, like I'm doing there, it's still going to flicker. If it's very quick, you might not see it on the track, but it's, it's certainly noticeable. And I did put up with it for a whole night, and then I got all your suggestions on what I'd done wrong. And that's where the capacitors come in. Basically, even though I've wired up two capacitors, it's actually working half as good as it should. So I'm going to disconnect them, connect them in parallel. I'll, I'll give you a closer look at how we do that and then put them back in. And hopefully we should have a much longer stay alive system. Hopefully I can remove these without wrecking the shell of my coach. I'm not too bothered about the capacitors. I have plenty of them. If I can reuse them, great, but... Yeah, no biggie. I've snipped the wires on these anyway, so make sure I'm not damaging the roof. I've used hot glue to, to install these, but I don't think I've got access to get the glue gun in and to heat it up again. That's okay. The good thing is they're actually glued onto a plastic sheet on the inside, which acts as the windows. So that will actually peel out. I can get in there, that's preventing it from coming out. Should be able to pull the whole lot up. Ugh. I would add, advise a bit of caution here because even though I've taken the power out, <coughs> they're still powering those capacitors and they will give you a bit of a nip. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I've got one off. Hopefully we can get this off without, there we go. So I can actually just reheat that glue and put the next ones back in. But let us remove these and see if we can reuse them. Otherwise, I'll just get new ones, okay? See if we can unsolder that and see what it looks like. No, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to use new capacitors because I've cut these ones down too much. The legs. 
All right, let me grab a couple of new ones. We'll start again. So that's our original capacitors, and I had wired them negative to positive so that we had a positive one side negative to the other, but that's not the way you do it. We have to wire them together, as in both the positives go together, which is the long ones, or the long legs, both the negatives go together, and then we've got one positive, one negative to go onto our little carriage. So I think what I'll just do is I will twist the two negatives together, twist the two positives together, solder them, put a bit of heat shrink over them, keep them all nice. I think what I'll do is try and make this as neat as possible. So do a little, do a little bend in, oh my goodness, that way, a little bend that way, then a little bend up the way, and up the way, so that we can join these together like that. Okay, that looks not too bad. These are not the right pliers to do the job, but we'll give it a shot. I'm sure there's a wire twisting tool out there on the internet. <laughs> That will do just a wee bit more, nice and neat, because I want to be able to put some heat shrink tubing over this, because I do not want these two sets of connectors to join. And we'll do the same with the top. Let's just bend that out of the way for now. So we're going to do a twist in. In, twist up, and up. That was too early with that twist. Like so. Twist them together. I'm sure you're all horrified watching this. But if it works, it doesn't matter how it looks. Well, that kind of matters. Okay. So. The long side is the positive, short side is the negative, as you can see with the markings there. Okay, let us move over to our power source, which is these two wires here. And I think I'll, I'm going to run some solder across these twists for now, just to make sure we've got a really nice connection there, okay? Okay, let me heat up the soldering iron, join this all together, glue that back down. Let's get our handy blue tack, hold everything in place. We'll get some flux on them. I want the solder to flow right through them. Lovely. Gonna let that cool for a sec because it will be rather hot. And we'll we'll get our wires prepped. I do need to untwist these a little bit because I do need to get the heat shrink over the top of these now. Whoops. Let me dig out some heat shrink. And then by the time I come back, it will be cool enough to touch. These don't actually need to be that long. I'm just gonna get in the way. Trim that there. Trim that there. Right. Let's get it into the into the coach. Hmm, let's see how we're gonna do this. I do need to be careful I don't cross these over, so that needs to be a bit there. Black wire going to the negative, which is there. Oh, I know what I can do. Let's little wedge it there for now. Oh, it's not long enough. That should be okay there. Right, bit of heat shrink on there. Uh, it doesn't need to be too long now. Put one down the black wire. Uh, 
and one down the red wire. I just don't want to have to take everything back out of the, the roof. Because I like where everything is at the moment, you know. Okay, let's try that again. So, negative is the top wire. Actually, let's do it that way. Since we've got access, we'll do the black wire to the negative. I'm repeating myself. That's going to go there. Okay, and then we can spin it around and do the red wire. If that will stay in place. Now, ah, blue tack to the rescue. Just to stop it moving about. Goodness sake. Give me grief. Ah, that's better. Right, this time. It's got a wee dot of flux on this, just to make sure it's all going to go together nicely. Oh, goodness. Everything's moving. Black wire is on. Let's get this heat shrink on while we're in the area. Try not to melt my coach. Okay. Spin that over. Oh, goodness, now the blue tack lives there. Don't worry, we'll peel that off when we get to it. And we'll get a red wire on. Making this really hard for myself. Lovely. Each right cone there. Also protects the wire from snapping too easily because it's very fine wire. I mean, it shouldn't be flexing much, but a little bit of protection goes a long way. Lovely. All right, let's get this out. I suppose we should test it all before we commit to the glue. That sounds like a plan. Let me zoom out, dim the lights. Here goes nothing. DC power supply is on. Let us connect. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are lit up. What happens when we release? It's better, but I wouldn't say it's a... I don't know, I'm going to have to check the video to see if that's much better than it was. I think it's better. But is it a lot better? Do I need to add more capacitors? Hmm. I don't know. You be the judge. Okay, I checked the video clip from earlier on, and yeah, it's much better. So I will glue these capacitors back down and reassemble the coach, and we'll try this over one of the unpowered frogs. My unpowered frogs and my number eight turnouts are that long. So... They were, the lights were dimming previously, quite noticeably. I mean, it wasn't going completely off, but it was a wee bit annoying. So hopefully we won't get that massive dim as it goes over the frogs. So I'll see you in the track when this is all back together. So this is my first set of number eight turnouts. Here comes Mr. Train. Front two coaches haven't been done yet. Looking good so far, flicker free. We'll just follow it all the way around. We don't have another set of points for a wee while. Just checking for general flickage. Looking good. Right, coming to our next set of points. Set points there and set points there. Perfect. Right, we'll get one more over here. Nothing to report. Fantastic. Oh, one more small set of points. No, we don't. It's on the other track. 
So I think they're all good. Excellent. In summary then, capacitors need to be hooked up in parallel, not in series. Hook them up in series and you're basically halving their capacitance, which goes against all logic, but hey, you guys know better than me. And the other thing you need to remember is when people leave comments on YouTube, make sure you listen to them. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, someone did suggest that I need to have little lights at the end of each coach for the passengers to see where they're going when they get in and out. So I will address that. I also want to add maybe a red marker light to that rear coach, but I might get more coaches. So we'll wait and see if that is going to be the last one. I suppose I better do the other two coaches while I've got all my stuff out, but uh, you don't need to see that. It's going to be exactly the same. Thank you all for watching. See you very soon. This is Saturday. Might be Sunday. I don't know. Anyway, Sunday night, live stream. See you there. Bye for now.